now we move on to the third school of thought which is positioning school of thought and this positioning school of thought is built on planning and design school of thought and this is third prescriptive school if you remember that in the previous two schools design and planning we discussed more about the process of strategy development but the content part was missing so this positioning school actually is the journey from the process to the content and this school actually discusses the content of the strategy rather than the process it doesn't mean that it it ignores the process it discusses the process but it actually takes the process as it is in case of design and planning school but it emphasizes on the content of the strategy which is actually missing in case of the planning school and the design school if you remember that in the design school main emphasis was on the conception of the strategy on the process of the strategy whereas in case of planning school the focus was on the details of the strategy development its techniques its processes and here in the positioning school the focus will remain on the content of the strategy itself before we move on to the positioning school it is important to understand that where actually the positioning school has got its inspiration basically the positioning school is the contribution to the literature of strategy by the economics and this school is based on a perspective known as io perspective io perspective means industrial organizational perspective industrial organizational perspective is basically a special perspective in economics by which the firms and their strategies are viewed and this io perspective believes that the success or failure of a firm of an organization is more explained by the external factors than the internal factors and it believes that that the firm actually becomes successful or unsuccessful based on its position in its industry so this particular school is known as industrial organizational school because it actually discusses the relation between an organization and its industry which actually makes its context will be later on in the upcoming topics be discussing a very important school known as rbv the resource based view which actually counters the io perspective but the positioning school actually has got its foundation in the io perspective and according to it the position of a firm is important i hope that you remember that while discussing the five p's of strategy we discussed that the strategy also is taken as a position and as a position means the position it has relative to the other players in the market i hope that you definitely notice the different practices in the business world and you can easily recall that in every industry there are firms which occupy different positions for instance that if we talk about auto industry to you must have noticed that in pakistan's auto industry there are big 3s actually the concept of big 3 is present in every industry may it be the industry of mattresses of uh, footwear of garments of air conditioners home appliances or any industry the concept of big 3 is there and you always find out the big 3 in any industry they have got a unique position relative to the other players even i was just referring the auto industry in pakistan but in the one player position is as a producer of durable vehicles the second player's positioning is as the producer of comfortable vehicles and the positioning of the third producer is as the producer of economy vehicles so according to positioning school the any organization actually responds to its environment in the shape of taking a position in its industry so in the positioning school 
our main emphasis will remain on the content of the strategy. Actually, this school has been in the literature through the 1950s, 60s and 70s. But real impetus was given to this school by Michael E. Porter by writing two prominent books, Comparative Strategy and Comparative Advantage, subsequently in 1980s and in 1985. Actually, Michael E. Porter is the person who actually gave rise to the positioning school and in real world or in the literature, the positioning school is mainly attributed to him and his work. So in his view, the strategy is actually the position of the firm a firm takes into its uh, context in the industry. And precisely speaking, the positioning school is talking about two things. Importance of the strategies, not just the process. Not only the process is important. If you remember that in case of uh, design school and planning school, there were unlimited strategy options available. But in the views of Michael E. Porter or in the views of the positioning school, there are limited generic options available which are taken by the firms to take their position. And second, focus on the content of the strategy rather than merely on the process. Thank you very much.